Over here is another piece we have to see. And I promise, once you see this painting, you'll never forget this woman. Shame, rape, suicide. This next painting tells the unforgettable story of one woman's tragic death and the consequences it had on an entire kingdom. This is Lodovica Mozanti's Death of Lucretia. Painting Lucretia is kind of like a jazz stand, a tune that everyone plays and puts their own spin on. Rembrandt painted her. Botticelli painted her. Titian, Rubens, Raphael. It's an endless list. But it's Ludovico Mazzanti's depiction that I just can't shake. To me, this is one of the most haunting faces in all of art history. Lucretia's story takes place in 509 BC, when Rome was ruled by the tyrant King Tarquin. She was the wife of a nobleman, and she was not only virtuous, but she was hot, and everyone knew it, including the king's son Sextus. And he decided to act on his desire. While her husband is away, the son of the king of the kingdom of Rome threatens to murder her unless she submits to his sexual advances. She submits to the rape. Her husband returns. She tells him of the violation. And unable to live with the shame of what happened, she takes her own life, plunging a dagger into her chest. Her husband takes an oath of vengeance. And the firestorm begins. Lucretia's brother Brutus carries her dead body into town, riling the citizens of Rome to action. The citizens drive the evil king and his son out of the city and establish the Roman Republic. And if you look at this painting carefully, you can see in Mazzanti's unique portrayal of Lucretia how this woman could inspire a revolution. Mazzanti paints this to make us part of the actual scene, which is one of the things that is so fascinating. She's right up next to us in this picture. Look at her gaze. She looks up, her eyes lead her to her God, and they give her guidance, courage, confidence as she plunges the dagger deep into her breast. It's possible Mazzanti chose this story to reflect the turmoil going on around him at the time. You see, in 1735, Mazzanti was living in Naples, Italy, which was occupied by Spain. Knowing that Lucretia inspired revolution in her own day, perhaps Mazzanti used her to inspire the people of Naples to rise up against their foreign captors. It's meant to inspire us to a positive action. It's a hard, brutal painting, but I love it because it's a powerful message powerfully conveyed.